I'm not scared of cancer. I'm not scared of a heart attack. I'm not scared of dying in a car crash. What I am most scared of is mediocrity. Mediocrity is bad for me. It's bad for my life. It's bad for my wife. It's bad for my kid. It sets a terrible example. The idea of living an average life terrifies me. That probably comes from an insecurity that I have deep inside. It's fine with me. It's okay with me. I am terrified of mediocrity. I can't be the only one out there. Some of you must be terrified of being average. I mean, the path of least resistance rarely makes us proud. I want to be proud. I want to be proud of the things that I've done, the people that I'm with, the example I've set for my child. Today's a holiday. It's Columbus Day. Circle back to that. Mediocrity is a disease. It's caused by the bacteria average. So, in order to prevent yourself from catching that disease, you've got to eliminate average from your life. You have to become allergic to being average. Just like you, you hate being actually sick by vomiting and sitting on the toilet, crapping your brains out and not being able to sleep and having the chills and a fever, you have to be sick to your stomach any time that you come in contact with average. Average people, average thoughts, average actions. Nobody, nobody wants to go on a date and have an average date. Nobody wants to go to a movie and come home and your friends say, how was the movie? And you're like, oh, it's really average. That doesn't excite us. So why would you want that in your life? You have to eliminate that from your life. It is contagious. You must become allergic to average. Actions are evidence of your mindset. If you have an average mindset, your actions will indicate whether you have an average mindset or not. Are you chasing success? Are you trying to be more than mediocre? Actions are direct evidence. Would a jury of 12 try and convict you if you were on trial for trying to be successful? If you were on trial today, Columbus Day, a holiday, the actions that you have planned for today or the actions you took yesterday or the actions you plan for tomorrow, if you were on trial right now for being successful, would a jury of 12, based on the evidence, your actions, try and convict you for being successful? If not, go out there and commit some crimes. Start living that successful life. Start chasing excellence. Remove mediocrity, mediocrity from your life. That's it, guys. Happy Monday. As Jocko would say, go get some.